Sabres versus Sens. These two are going to hate each other this year. You got the Sabres up 5-2. Kachuk is trying to get something going for the Sens. Puck swings up high. And Brady just beelines it for Alex Tuck. And he goes to hit him. Tuck braces himself. And Kachuk gets him a bit high there. Tuck obviously doesn't like that. But he shakes it off. Takes a number. So as Brady circles back into the zone. The puck starts to head the other way again. The puck is nowhere near Brady at this point as he heads up ice and Tuck decides he's just going to clip him. Brady helicopters, doesn't even let his stick hit the ice and he instantly tosses it and drops both of his gloves to square up. At this point, Tuck isn't even looking at him. He's just pretending that nothing ever even happened. Meanwhile, Brady is seeing red. He even gives him an old school wave over like, come on, let's go, let's get this done. And Tuck steps up to the plate and these two square off. Now, here's where things get interesting because both of them kind of jostle around for a bit, missing haymaker after haymaker. But watch Brady go for the right hand bomb here and Tuck actually gets him with a quick left in tight, forcing Brady to miss his right and Tuck to fall off balance. Now, as Tuck lays on the ice, Brady gets one last blow in and the refs immediately step in. Now that's an unwritten rule in hockey. You don't hit a guy when he's defenseless on the ice. That was a bit of a sneaky, greasy move by Kachuk, but the Sens and their bench don't care. They love it. They're all going nuts. Coach DJ Smith takes a peek at the clock and immediately consults the assistant because they just lost their captain in the last five minutes of the game. Now that's an important detail. Not only because they're down by three, but because anytime there's an instigator penalty in the last five minutes of regulation, the player receives a one game suspension and the coach gets a 10k fine. Now this rule is in place to avoid teams just sending out animals in the last five minutes of the game to stir it up and fight anyone they see. However, the league does automatically review this rule and can rescind a suspension if it feels the fight was more heat of the moment instead of sending a message or headhunting. In this situation, the league felt this was the case and rescinded the one game suspension for Brady Kachuk. That's the right call given the situation, but if you're an Oilers fan, you're probably losing your mind. Because if you remember correctly in the playoffs last season, Darnell Nurse received a one game suspension for doing the exact same thing. Now for Nurse, I guess this is an instigation because he goes out of his way to pick this fight. But the whole point is that this seems very subjective in the moment. Because according to this tweet and by the NHL, if it is in the heat of the battle or the heat of the moment, they won't enforce the suspension. Which is why Kachuk gets away with this without getting suspended. But in Nurse's situation, you could argue the same thing. It's in the middle of a playoff game, tensions rise and all of a sudden you're dropping the gloves. Once again, it's another one of those rules where fans are looking at the NHL like what exactly is going on here. Either way, great tilt from both guys. I love the fact that there's no hesitation between the both of them. Now the Sens did seem to energize by the fight. They got two goals to pull this game within one, but the Sabres hung on and took this one 5-4. So with the NHL officially rescinding the Kachuk suspension, let us know what you think down below. And what do you think about this rule? Let us know in the comments down below. We got more breakdowns coming. Whether you want quick or deeper breakdowns of the NHL season, we cover it all on this channel, so make sure to check it out here and subscribe.